We are back. It's Professor Lombardi with the White Lab Coat. We're here with another Dallas Cowboy video. We're breaking down the 58 sacks from last year. This is a part two video. Last week, uh, we did, or the last video, we did a Dak Prescott video. Like, how many of those 58 sacks were his fault? And the number we came up with was 16, or at least the number that I came up with was 16. So now we have 42 more sacks to kind of categorize and play finger point. Um, which offensive lineman did their responsibility go to and you know how many of those sacks had nothing to do with us or nothing to do with Dak um, so I'm going to do that independent research and break that down for y'all um, with that being said hey man support the merch I appreciate all y'all that that have bought a shirt or your Patreon people or your um, you know cash out PayPal people however you support I appreciate you uh, finish your food shirt is dope I watch film speed strength ass whoop the link is in the description for everything that you need is shop.spreadshirt.com slash shop Lombardi with that being said let's get this thing started Leo Collins I've been saying all last year the Leo Collins make my head hurt make my back itch Sometimes I watch him because I know he's a fantastic football player. He got great feet great strength great mobility I don't even think it's a sense of him playing out of out of position like people saying put him back at guard i went back to do the film session of him at guard and he's got the same problems you know when he misses with his hands he has problems and that resulted in a lot of sacks last year um i know he has good feet he can move like a tackle he's he, you know he's 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 flexible pretty good um you know pretty good attributes because some games he'll look like a gangster i've seen him block ryan kerrigan um but then there's other times that you know Leo just let guys get inside on him. They you know they'll, they'll let guys control his wrists or control his chest plate, and you know Leo ends up not playing powerful. And you know Leo gave up a lot of sacks last year. Um, he's the second most. Let me look at my how many sacks did Leo give up last year? I got him at eight point five and two sacks to where like it was like a third i can't count that well so i'll break that down for y'all in a second but it's the first one man this is the first one that is flat out leo collins's fault no discrepancy here so going back to my last rule we're doing we're doing old school seven on seven thousand four counts right so if Dak still has the ball at thousand four then it's his fault for holding the ball too long but if not then it's somebody else's fault so let's give it a good count here let's go thousand one thousand two thousand three and Dak is sacked before we got to, to thousand four and that's on layout so it seems like this pass rusher here 58 he started off wide ended up on Zeke and Lael's in good position here Lael starts okay um you know he just didn't finish he didn't he didn't stay square he didn't really engage like that he just let 58 just go past him but I know Lael is better than that and he's kind of leaning right here. See, 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 see how his shoulders end up over his ankles right there. He just ends up leaning, and uh, boy, that's just that's just depressing. But uh, fifty eight ended up uh, getting past him and sacking Dak. This is also on Leo Collins, in my opinion. This is a gap exchange. So uh, dot dot dot. What's going to happen here is fifty nine is going to boom boom boom. Then he's going to cross face. Now they're in fantastic position to deal with this with this gap exchange here when 58 uh crosses into b gap zach martin is there zach martin engages lael passes zach martin along but the problem is now lael has to pick up 90 and lael didn't do a great job of picking up 90 see now lael just got too caught up in the in the push inside if he would have just passed him along stayed square and kept moving his feet then he'll be fine Take a look at Leo's feet, how he just passed him along. And by the time 90, you know, got past him, you know, by the time 90 got to Leo's hip, it was a bit it was a bit too late for him. We got here. And as offensive linemen, we can't block you right here. We're not strong right here. And you know, plus Leo standing standing tall right here, straight up. His pad level is pretty bad. So Leo got B right here. Pretty clear. Leo Collins versus Vic Beasley. Let's see what happens here. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and move along, man. I, I don't even want to hang around. And I, even though Vic kind of engaged with Zach here, that ain't how it works. Like Leo, Leo gave up the inside real heavy. Leo dropped his post foot. He opened up his hips. He didn't make contact. He, this was bad, man. This, this was just, this was just bad. I'm moving on. It's pretty terrible. 
But you know what, though? It's cool. Because Vach was out here talking about draft the offensive lineman early. And then, and everybody was like, oh, Vach, you just want to draft the offensive lineman. Mark Holmes, Vach, you just want to draft the offensive lineman because you played offensive line. We don't need offensive line. The offensive line is serviceable. Let me tell you something, man. I don't know how many of y'all are new to my channel, but I've been I, like last year. I watch film every single week, and I put it on. I put it on the channel, right? So, and some people don't watch all my videos. Okay, I can't knock you for that. I can't make everybody watch all my videos, but I promise y'all, when you miss a video, you miss something important. Right, you missed something important, and I remember putting those Leo Collins videos out, and they wasn't getting a whole bunch of views. And I'm out here making my points, and nobody was really listening to me. I, I, I don't hate Leo, don't hate him. <laughs> I'm not mad at him, but boy, ugh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that, 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 that's bad. That's bad. But somebody gonna listen to me one day. Somebody gonna listen to old, old crazy Vach when he when he says things like, yo, man, Leo playing pretty bad. And somebody's like, I mean, we won the game. I mean, so Leo can't be doing that bad, right? Oh boy, wait till I do the Sue Philo video and all this. Uh, it, I ain't touching on that right now. But but yeah, man, this is another clear Leo. So this is another one here. Leo Collins, right tackle. Here we go. Um, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. And that gets grabbed by the ankle here. Now, um, this is this is real board, this is real borderline. Um, but number fifty nine, he he ends up on the ground here. But the problem is, Leo doesn't finish him right. So when the offensive when the D lineman gets to this point, Leo could really just fall on him and like really finish this thing. But Leo just kind of let him continue to progress towards Dak, and you know he's crawling towards Dak right now. You can kind of see him right here. You see him crawling towards Dak. He was able to get a hand on Dak's foot, and you know Dak was sacked. So hey, you know it's not as bad as the rest of them. It's bad. It's not as bad as the rest of them. But um, Leo did, in fact, uh, take a loss right there. Here we go, Leo, Leo Collins again. Now, this sack is kind of different, but this also goes into my who's at fault criteria. Um, if you push the quarterback into a sack, um, then you're part, of, you're part of the problem as well. So we got Leo Collins. We're kicking here, and 59 is giving Leo such pressure that is making Dak go into a sack. Um, then I'm counting that as offensive lineman's fault. Um, I want you to like, I want you to like put hands on this dude and stop him right there. Like as a good block, I want you to stop that man right there. But um, that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. Lael Collins ended up getting uh, getting pushed almost into Dak and it forced Dak to step up there. And um, you know, we'll we'll get to the Cam Fleming video whenever we get to it or whatever. But um, yeah, Lael got pushed. Lael pushed the whole issue there. So Leo Collins and Connor Williams are about to team up to get Dak Prescott killed. It's okay. <laughs> we'll cross that road whenever we get to the uh to the Connor Williams video. But half of this was flat out Leo Collins' fault. That's bad. Look at look at Leo, man. That is bad. Oh, that's terrible, man. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Then once you look at this egregious shit, everybody just lost. Just, just everybody. Just, just. Oh, boy. oh man, y'all don't want my quarterback to live, man. Y'all want my quarterback to just be on the ground and get grass stains all on his clothes, man. But um, y'all, like, if y'all watch this whole series, y'all gonna see this one play a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because uh, you know Connor's to blame here. I think uh, who, who else is a part of this? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, Connor's to blame. I got a little bit of Zach Martin's fault up in there. Leo Collins is uh, trying to slam dunk, slip and slide on JJ Watt right there. But yeah, this is one of three. Uh, this is a a a third of a fault of a sack from Leo Collins. This sack was a third of this sack was his fault. And once again, Leo Collins teamed up with Connor Williams and teamed up with my other favorite offensive lineman, Xavier Suafilo. They all just taking turns getting that killed right here. So this also falls in the Leo's fault category. This is a third of a sack uh, tallied up for him as well. 
Don't you click off this video yet? We got some more. Leo Collins right here. Uh, just, just, it's just clear at this point. That's another one. <laughs> It's enough. And you know, I ain't even got to break it down too, too much, right? Like, I could just, like, you know, just kind of play it. But uh, this is a film session, so I got to talk about these things, man. But, like, man, it hurts my soul. Talk about this stuff, man. Xavier Suofilo and, and, um, and Leo Collins teaming up like the damn Avengers to get my quarterback hurt. Just, ugh. Man, Dak's so tough, man. But that's why y'all should watch my film in the regular season. I think this is the last one. Um, yeah, Leo Collins at. Right tackle here. Who who is up against? Uh, Chris Long. Yeah, gonna get you up out of there, but it's okay. Let's see. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Yeah, right up on thousand four. Yep. So, hey man, there it is, bro. There's there's the the Leo Collins low light tape. Uh, boy, 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 boy. Uh, if y'all want to know why Leo Collins been bad, I actually did another did another Leo Collins uh, film session. Y'all can go check that out. Um, I, I watched him at guard and I watched him at tackle. Just type in Leo Collins on my channel, you'll find it. Let me check my handy dandy notebook and make sure I'm not skipping any Leo Collins plays. Okay, so peep this out, chat box. This is where I need y'all because I watch football, but I'm not very smart. So in my in my notebook, I broke it down as uh, single sacks, sacks where two of y'all was at fault and sacks where three of y'all was at fault. Now, I can count singles and I can count like halves because two halves is one. And I have 8.5 sacks counting singles and halves. But then there's these third sacks to where three people gave up a sack and one sack was a third Leo Collins fault. It is... Um, he gave up two of those. So if there's any mathematicians in the chat box or the live stream or the comment section, any mathematicians that can tell me 8.5 sacks plus two sacks that were a third of a sack. So one third is like what? Two six of a sack. Can somebody give me a final number so I can write that down in my notepad so I can have the actual number? Cause y'all smarter than me. And I don't, I don't, I'm look, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know how to ask Google for that. <laughs> I don't even know how to smartly ask Google. Like, Hey Google, how you put, 8.5 and two sacks that's one thing i don't know how to ask that so uh somebody please help me out and i'll give y'all proper credit what the hell man gonna shut your my phone be listening y'all that's the government <laughs> that's listening to shit. but anyway um hey y'all asked for part two this is part two next we're gonna look at the guards we're gonna look at connor williams and xavier suofilo um all in the same video so um, I know y'all probably excited to uh, to to bash Connor Williams, and y'all probably excited to hear me bash Xavier Suofilo. So tune in for that. Uh, hey man, like the video. I told you about the Patreon already. All that other good stuff. I'm trying to cut down on the end of these videos. I appreciate y'all for watching. Um, hey, when this when this video gets to about 300 likes or 10,000 views or something like that, if it gets there, or just a solid number of views or a solid number of days, then I'm gonna go ahead and drop the. Uh, the next one so i'll be working on that while y'all watching this so y'all hold it down for the doski woskin and peace let's get layout back in the weight room and fix his hands peace